Um, one of the coolest things about the lagoon parks, well, park, is their peacocks and peahens. They just roam around, mostly over here in the Pioneer Village. It's just their place. Here's Daddy. Oh, right here. oh, that's not real, is it? Look right here. Oh, oh. Kel didn't see. No, this is as close as I get. It's almost like he's nesting. Yeah. He <laughs> Are you scared? He won't hurt you unless you get right up on him. <laughs> well, I mean, he could. But unless there's a girl around, nah. There's, look how freaking many there are. Yeah, there. there's another right there. Hi. And then we've got this guy over here. Let's go over here. We might as well go in the train museum. Oh, hello. What's that? <laughs> oh, just follow me, man. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> two. There's two right there. No. With the crowds they've had. There's three right there, Cal. Four. Right. Good grief. And another one in there. I was telling you about that. This one right here, though, right behind you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello. Jeez. If you never watch the birds, we're going to get our eyes checked out. I've watched the birds. If you weren't scared of the crows when we were at uh, Oogie Boogie, why are you scared of these? Because I'm used to the crows. They were everywhere in the bay. Well, but they also didn't, they would run away if you got too close. These guys are. No, they own this place. They're, coming they're not. For us. They're coming to get you, Barbara. What movie is that? Oh, my Lord. Shame for shame. Uh, Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romero. You've never seen it. Oh, uh, well, that's, that's a mistake. <laughs> we will have to, we will have to correct that. So, this is one of the many fabulous museums, and these are the kind of things that I can bring the kids in here when I've got the kids with me, but I don't get to actually, hey, we have one just like that. A little bit longer, but a lot like that that we found in the bins. Looks kind of like that one too. Anyway, I don't get to take my time and really enjoy these kinds of exhibits when the kids are with me, but luckily, Kel is a fabulous sport and indulges, indulges my whims. We have literally the Pioneer Village all to ourselves. There's a few uh, employees, I don't know what they call them here at Disney, of course, they're cast members. As far as here, I don't know if they have any special de designations like that. But we've got this whole thing to ourselves, so what better day? Look at that thing. What? The yay. Oh. I don't like focusing on their zoo, and I usually don't mention it because it is such a sad state of affairs, really abominable, reprehensible. <laughs> but if you are one who has no moral <laughs> compass, <laughs> I've never go. seen one before. So. All right, we're going to, have to take the train ride. So the train, and I love trains. There is a little choo-choo that goes. Uh, it's maybe one-third scale I think we'll find out but anyway there's a train that goes around the park but what it focuses on and mainly goes through is their sad little um zoo Just to clarify, situation and it's horrible I am not I also don't like the idea of zoos however I can appreciate that I'm not going to go out to the wilderness and, and find a yak no. yeah I know so I like giving her a hard time. It's what I do, and I'm pretty darn good at it, too. But she gives as good as she gets. So, I mean, anyway, so what a perfect day, or what better day, to kind of take our time here in Pioneer Village. We are not immediately jumping onto rides today, but instead doing some of this stuff that uh, don't often get to do. It does. Well, it is. I know. Oh, I want to find, um, oh, here we go. So the miniature circus was hand-built and designed in one-fourth scale, okay, over 20 years ago, which this has been here for at least 20 years. So it's been a while. 
Okay, Don Ogden, it was patterned after the Great Cells Floto Circus during its heyday of 1905 to 1936. Cells Floto was considered the second largest traveling railroad circus in the world with a slogan, The Circus Beautiful. Winter quarters were located in Denver, Colorado. Although this miniature is not an exact replica of the original, it is a good representation of the circus as it traditionally was. As was the custom of the time, this exhibit depicts an early circus leaving its lot to parade down Main Street to advertise and promote the show. There was considerable competition among the various traveling shows to display the most beautiful and ornate circus wagons. Paper dolls, or at least one paper doll and some accessories, but in a frame. What a great idea for your old paper dolls. Yeah. So this is another fabulous museum. It's not all just about thrill rides, which I love. It's also the cries of beautiful birds and fabulous displays of things like this. What was the guy's name? He was like snake oil salesman on Pete's Dragon. Do you remember? I don't remember his name. <sighs> anyway, that's what this one always reminds me of. Yes, Pesamequati. Pete's Dragon. So this, this one here um, is Dr. the white top. Terminus? Terminus? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, but this was a farm type wagon and let's see, found across America for farms large and small, practical, uh, lightweight carriages made of hickory elm or white wood, uh, remarkable for their strength and durability. The buckboard was light and springy. Rural families eagerly anticipated the peddler's wagon. 
Peddler's business was often done in barter, and the wagon was equipped with drawers, compartments, racks, and hangers for display. Household items to be traded for the wagon's merchandise often included linens, rags, goose quills, hair, old pewter, wood ashes, and anything someone else might want or need. Yeah, good. The mansion. These two vehicles are the type of carriages to be owned by the wealthy. In this display, we see them in front of the Gardo House on South Temple Street in Salt Lake City. One of these years, I'll take you guys up to the avenues. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And tour some of those fabulous homes that they're kind of stuff that they're talking about right here. The Harney coach, that's this one. That's so gorgeous, but also fabulously creepy. It's delicious. Um, it is one of the most valuable in the country. Purchased in Europe, it was shipped to New Orleans, then floated on a barge up the Mississippi to Tippetts, Missouri, where Captain Harney, second in command of Johnston's army, met the barge. He drove the coach across the plains to Fort Bridger, Wyoming. There it was presented to the wife of Judge W.A. Carter, considered to be the first lady of the territory. And it's just here in an amusement park. That's crazy. But also fabulous. This totally speaks like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde to me. Oh, yeah. yeah, or even Sherlock Holmes. Totally what I'm seeing there. Um, it is the Rockaway. Operating in America, the Rockaway was a popular vehicle with both the middle class and the wealthy. In 1900, there were 3,166 Rockaways built as compared to 846, do you pronounce that Brahms or Brigham's? Brahms. Probably Brahms. A comparable closed carriage. Can you imagine riding in that thing? It would not be terribly comfortable and especially considering what you'd be wearing if you were in it. Yeah. I sat on this. You could fit one butt. No, I know. They were small people. Now, this is your standard covered wagon of legend, of historical note. They, this was the... Um, Specifically, the Peter, either Shuttler or Stutler wagon. Various geographical sections had distinct preference in wagon styles. This model weighs 1,600 pounds and could haul three tons. It has a slightly narrower track. Note arrangement of brakes. All wood was soaked in oil. So when they were coming across the plains and the prairies, this is what your pioneers, well, the wealthier ones, would have had many others would have been pushing hand carts such as this the mormon hand cart so i guess it, i mean honestly it just would depend on your financial situation you had a lot of people that were immigrants who i mean had spent the majority of their money just getting to america in the first place usually landed in new york went through ellis island all of that and then with whatever money they had left whatever resources then they would acquire their their needs for heading out on the plains, and a lot of people didn't even have enough for this. They had whatever they could carry on their backs. Now, let's all just think for a minute, especially with the clean out I've been doing on our main channel, our dumpster diving channel, let's think about trying to fit the precious possessions of six or seven people into this one little wagon. And then, of course, you've got to carry it all the way across the country. You'll have different ideas about what items are necessities. Might keep that in mind as I'm continuing my declutter. Now this is a necessity. That's something we need right there. Look at that. Fresh roasted peanuts and popcorn and pure food as opposed to contaminated food. That is lovely. I was telling the kids this is what I want when I die before they cremate me. They better roll my old thing through town in one of these. That's all I'm saying about that. Ooh, look at these trunks. Oh, those are fabulous. And the lock. It's even heart-shaped. That's gorgeous. Where? Right here. Look at that. It's, oh. it's heart-shaped. That cool. That's really it's sweet. Amazing. That's back when, boy, you were packing for a long time. We've got the Wells Fargo. 
Um, something like that. It's just one person. I'll try to look something up, but anyone that happens to know anything about that, you go ahead and tell us in the comments. Yeah. I know, you're all spread eagle and oh, getting all stretched out. We have some oh, sleighs. No Santa, but we've got some sleighs. Laura Ingalls Wilder, but also if you look at this one, Anne of Green Gables. Mm hmm. Yep, Diana has come running to the farm to tell them that her little sister. Oh, no. Oh, one more. And this is a fancy one. It's got fringe and bright colors. Okay, that's more my style right there. And look, it is like in pristine condition. All you gotta do is dust it, yeah. and it's ready to go. That's beautiful. See, there is more than just roller coasters. And that's coming from someone who loves roller coasters. Yeah. Fun little general store where you can get a era appropriate icy. It has a hat. <laughs> really fun wagon. Nice shady place to sit down. The grounds here, I mean. They are beautiful, very nicely maintained, well kept. Let's go check this out. And right above it, water slides. Whew. Pioneer Village Armory. Ooh, got a big, huge buffalo head to welcome us. I just walked right into this. You right into a cannon. Woohoo! So if you are. Um, a gun aficionado or enthusiast, there is a fabulous collection here, not just of arms, but of swords. Crossbows. And crossbows. Those are neat. And a buffalo head. And an axe. Including buffalo guns. An axe. Saxon Good axe. lord. 1673. Look at this. Here at this amusement park, the only amusement park in Utah, look at the kind of stuff that we have. I, I don't mind saying I'm pretty darn proud of the collection that has been curated in all of their museums. It really is pretty impressive. Look at this, that's what I need, a cane flask. <laughs> it holds your liquor, but it's also your cane for once you've had all the liquor. <laughs> oh, but I wouldn't mind having this one too. Look at that, Kel. Yeah, you run into any trouble? Oh, I got you covered. I'm your huckleberry. Okay. Look at this. Look at these, though. Some of these are ridiculous. A combination sword and flintlock pistol. If I don't get you with one, I'll get you with the other. You're trying to figure out how you would... Yeah. Okay. And then what the heck is this? A cane gun. A cane gun. I don't like these. <laughs> <laughs> They're different. And then you've got your... Your purse pistols. Those are so cool. I used to have a cute little purse pistol and I sold it and bought a sewing machine. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Those are cute though, huh? <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, see this is kind of stuff that honestly I don't get to look at when I've got the kids with me. Oh. Not in detail anyway. No, you'd need like three people. That's what a weird... That's a weird and stock. Also, how would you even hold that? And what's even on that one? It's like a mushroom. That was probably for your... I guess. These are called matchlocks. And these are Winchesters. Did you ever go to the Winchester house? Lucky. Punk. Someday we'll go there together. Yeah. You gotta go. I want to go again, though, because there's one... I did the regular floor. Yeah. Apparently there's an extra one. He looks like Kurt Russell. Yeah, he does. That's the wild bunch. Yes. Butch Cassidy? Yeah, he's from Utah. Yeah. Someday, hey, guys, that's another place we'll go and tour. So is Butch his... Cassidy? I think right? so. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh. that's Butch Cassidy um, down in southern Utah. I believe it's southeastern Utah. But anyway, someday we'll make, take a road trip down there, and I'll show you his hometown. Ooh. Yeah, he was actually a Mormon. Yeah, I remember that. Like, yeah. I knew he was from here. I just didn't realize. And there's Big Nose no, Greta's... George Parrot. 
was hanged to a telegraph pole in Rollins, Wyoming, huh, by a vigilance committee. And his, holy shit. And his skin made into gloves That's disgusting. and moccasins. Hey, it was the Wild West, folks. People, I don't know. People talk about the good old days. <laughs> the good old days when people had either knives or liquor in their canes and they, they didn't like what you were doing. They were going to make you into their next pair of moccasins. Jeez. Oh, you got to see the jail, though. Over here, come on. Hide away the criminals. Literally got to hack through the woods. Uh huh. We can go around to the other side, yeah. Well, hopefully not. Sorry, guys, can't break you out. Careful, it's really slippery over here. This tree is about to take it over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but back in their day, so let's see. In the early days, people took their lagoon fun seriously. Anyone interfering with it by being drunk or rowdy would be tossed into this concrete jail. What the? Built in 1895, it was actively used until 1919. Is this for real? Troublemakers were conveniently locked up for the night. The following day, they would be put aboard the old Bamberger train and sent home. Stop being so rowdy, we gotta throw you in. I know. Yeah, the kids were like, wait, what? Gingerbread house? Reagan's all, there's no gingerbread house. Um, the sign says. What a lovely porch to sit on. This would be a great place to sit and relax. It reminds me so much of Main Street USA in Disneyland, where if you're lucky enough, you can grab a seat there on the porch at what used to be the lingerie store. Uh huh. The glass in these windows, my goodness. Yeah. Well, and there's so much beautiful stained glass here. Oh yeah, look at that. Throughout the park. Okay. So this living room, um, the living room and bedroom set originally belonged to Mrs. Unity Chapel from Juab County. Hmm. She's still 19, 99 years old. That's not 1957, is it? Or is that 1850? No, no that's, that's 19. Yeah. Jeez. Didn't quite make it to 100. Sorry, Unity. There's your button shoes and my top hat. Right there. Right there. No way. That's. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Those shoes would be so tight. I would die. Jeez. And then to try and like go across the wilderness and something like that. No, 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 no. Watch your step. It's a doozy. See, they need, the kids didn't understand this. They need music. Careful, this is really slippery. I'm such a mom. Um, anyway, just imagine if there was some fun ambient music with all this. We've got a Bingham cabin. This is the rock chapel, but I don't think you're going to be rocking out in this. I don't read Roman numerals very well. Does it say what year? Let's see. 1863. Wait, the church was made as a fort? No. Yeah. Originally located in Colville. Oh. Okay, okay, so originally <laughs> it was a fort. And then it was a school. And a school. No. A no. Court, a courthouse, a jail, a school. And then a church in 1869. No, I'm not going to get stricken dead by coming in here. I know some of you want to make some jokes. Just stop.
Oh, that almost sounded like the wedding march. Like, um, <laughs> look at that organ, jeez. That's beautiful. Oh, look at this table. <gasps> look at that inlay, jeez. Yeah. That's, that's, wow. Yep. Like I said, they have amazing collections here. And the glass, stop it. Look at that. Ah, oh. oh, there's even some embroidery. Oh, that is beautiful. It could be. Oh, and there's another one. I'm getting a, a tad hungry. I'm ready for some snacky snacks. Look how pretty. Give me a break. All right, so there's um, this cabin, two-story cabin. There's a schoolhouse. All right. I tell you, Olivia's in a Spanish class. No. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fun, huh? Can you believe that? Freaking dunce caps. Oh. No wonder we've had so many wars. <laughs> Come on, kids raised with that kind of nonsense. The University of Desert normal department. Normal? <laughs> as opposed to? That'd be normal. How about that? This is disturbing. Okay, that is funny. Stonewall Jackson's. All right, do you want to, what do you want to eat? Okay, then we're gonna head back to the front. A microblade? I, think that's what it's I don't know, frugal friends, do you do microblading? I actually had a girlfriend offer me her appointment, but I wasn't available, so she gave it to her sister. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. We just ordered some milkshakes. Thank you, Jenny Robin, for making this possible. And uh, a fun little happy birthday for my sister. I got sea salt caramel, and she got a weird mix it's not, it's not weird. of what? Grasshopper and cookies and cream. It's basically mint Oreos. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, except won't it have like pecans or something? No. Mm. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. See. There's no nuts. Man. <laughs> Well, it's still, I still think it's weird. Because, <laughs> like, turtle, it would be like the pecan. Oh, I was thinking turtle. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh. Well, I'm obviously not up to date on my <laughs> treat ingredient oh, list. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Look at this. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Gulp. Ah. <laughs> We're going to go find a nice shady spot to sit over here and enjoy these delights. My apologies that I have still not ordered the GoPro. We've been busy with the kids going back to school and all of that fun. So we're still using um, whatever this phone is. What is this phone that I love so dearly? Galaxy something and my tripod. Ooh, I'm getting a little tiny tripod to go with, oh jeez. Ooh, we're sitting now. I'm um, getting a little tiny tripod to go with the GoPro specifically for it. And the GoPro itself is supposed to be amazing at stabilization. Mm -hmm. I had bought that um, gimbal a while ago, you guys will remember, but it's just kind of heavy and cumbersome and I don't know, and it has to be charged. And so really haven't made much use of it. Anyway, tell me, Cal, mm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if, we, if, if I may be so crude, as a little oh. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> So my thoughts, it is really good, but what I had kind of hoped was that it would, as it's a, a sea salt caramel, that it would be like a swirl of caramel, but rather it's like caramel cups. cups. Yeah. Well, I think that's what the name said anyway. Caramel, sea salt caramel cup, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, but I was kind of hoping it would be like a swirl, but it's still delicious and incredibly refreshing. Um, I had thought our heat wave had broken. Not quite, it is heating up again. 
throughout the weekend, so this is definitely helpful. What about yours? It's really good. Um, yeah. Like I was saying, I thought it was going to be like green with like a mint flavoring, but I think they put like Oreos and thin mints in it, so it's like not overwhelmingly. Really well. But it, it hits the spot. Oh yeah. So. Mm. So again, thank you, Jenny, for these fabulous treats. We're gonna just sit and enjoy them now, and uh, we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. No. Told Raquel I'd take her on the catapult. Happy, happy birthday to her. For some reason, she's not not into it. Yeah, for some reason. So weird. I just don't understand. What better birthday present could you get than going up in that cannibal, or cannibal, not cannibal, but freaking catapult. Oh yeah. These guys are having fun. They're doing the re-entry. The blast off's about to happen. This is a fun ride. If we hadn't just had ice cream. Here we go, ready? On your marks. Get set. Get. Set. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Anytime now. It is going to happen. And. And. There it goes. Oh, that's a fun one. That is so fun. I highly recommend the one up on top of the stratosphere in Las Vegas. That is always a great time. Way too expensive, but but it's fun. You gotta at least do it once. Here at the end of the Pioneer Village kind of main street is a good place to get away. That's uh, the back side of the train station. The park has started picking up here recently, but if you want to get away, you got a beautiful area back here and what used to be a livery stable and is now the Pioneer Village Telephone Museum. Look at that. That is fabulous. Yeah, that was good stuff. Get in there, Cal. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> didn't work <laughs> so our mom uh, was a telephone operator back in the day didn't she talk to Betty White or somebody I have no idea I think it was Betty White it's not Betty White Betty Davis oh well I didn't know that things have certainly changed look at all these things you had to move the plug from place to place to connect these phone calls. And then I've heard tell of these amazing things called party lines, where you could get in on everyone else's business because you all shared one phone line. Bunch of fun phones. You tell me, frugal friends, if you see any that you recognize from your childhood home, your grandparents' home. Got your operator headsets. Got a pen register. And that's a, um, what is it called, Kel? Telegraph. Telegraph, thank you. <laughs> it's like my, my sound effects. Um, anyway, yes, a telegraph. They sure did. One of the for their business. Yeah. Yep. What? Oh, that's pretty neat. Can you imagine that someone was 61? It's kind of like it's meant to be. I don't know about those weird ones that look like like it's some kind of gun or something, but it's but that's it's like got the phone. yeah. That is really weird. So you would dial it on the back, and then, so is there, that's the handset, where's the receiver? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. Again, if any of you have ever seen these before, tell us. Wasn't Grandpa born in 1931? I believe so. 
And then our other grandpa, I believe, was... Uh, 1911, wasn't he? Yeah. He was old. It, 1910. Because he, yeah. Well, Dad was one of the youngest. Yeah. That is so pretty. Wouldn't you love to have that copper one just mm -hmm. for display? Except I, want, I don't think I like the black and white of the... The numbers and letters? Get some of that mother of pearl stuff. Oh, yeah. There is a really fun little dress up old school Wild West Photoshop here where you get to put on a bunch of costumes. I think that would be something really fun for Raquel and I to do. It's weird right now though because they're wearing masks in there. Well yeah, but not in your but not in your picture. No, they are. Are they? Oh. You can see them taking their picture right now. Oh. Don't film them, but No, but I'm gonna look. Yeah. Oh they are. Oh that's weird. Huh, yeah, they are. They're all wearing masks in their pictures. I guess you could play it up yeah. with like bandanas and um I don't know for the girls. You'd find something. But maybe next year when you're not having to wear masks in it all the time and stuff like that. that would be nice. It'd be fun to come and get that kind of a picture done.